so every academy will have this uh, page right that is your academy name dot com slash learn so this is a page where all your courses will be shown you might want uh, students to directly sign in or sign up to your website so you want to give that option on your header section as well let's see how to do that click on the uh, plus symbol and here now you are able to see the button element you can uh, hover your mouse on the button element click on it and simply drag it you will find a place where you can place that button over here so let's place it right next to the menu uh, we have inserted the button element but I think this the entire uh, section has actually gone down so not an issue we will fix it so what we will do first let's click on the button let's click double click the button and let's replace it with login or sign up so as soon as I uh, select my button there is a black color box around it let's click on the first option this is where you can control the size and shape of the button so right now it's in the medium size so let's make it small and uh, right now it's in the fill option I can make it fill or I can make it unfilled so fill is fine let's change that sharp corners to something like a rounded corner so this looks more elegant and uh, what we can do next is to go to the typography so typography is fine and let's select the color color is fine and the third is the link right so you need to insert the link of uh, the page over here so to get the link of the page what you can do is let's go to the student dashboard so this is what your students will see and uh, so this is the button right sign in or sign up button so you can click on either of these buttons so this takes the student to the sign up page so what you can do is you can copy this link control C and come back here and here within the button under this this option that is a fourth option you can insert the link of your sign up page okay and always make it a point to uh, open this link in a new tab next uh, this button is slightly raised on top this is where the menu is so let's bring this button down so to do that let's click on the settings option and within the settings let's uh, click on the padding and uh, so padding is at zero so let's bring it little down so now you can see that the button has button is coming to the uh, almost aligned with the menu right so this is drawn okay uh, the next option let's adjust the color and uh, the size of the entire area so to do that move the mouse towards the right you will find that there is a black color button out over here so this is the entire uh, layout of the header section so let's click on the setting option and click on the styling and here let's control the padding so padding is at 15 so maybe we can change it a bit we can push it a little bit up so here you can see that there is white color right over here so I want to make it in the same color so whatever is the color of this is a light blue color that we have used so let's do one thing let's go down and see where we can get this blue color so if you scroll down you can see that uh, there is light blue color let's click on this black color option so let's select that option and here let's click on the color option so by default uh, this is the color that you can find here so all you have to do is select this color press command C uh, or control C and uh, let's go back to the header section select this option go to the color and here replace this color with the new color and click on enter so now you can see that the entire header is customized to the color that you want right and uh, here uh, we have the headers crawl uh, this thing we can adjust the size of the logo right and the header and let's move this button to the extreme right right and here can let's see how it looks on original it doesn't make much difference so let's keep it original and uh, so this is how we have customized the header section so hope this part was clear now let's see how to adjust the body sections as well